All right, Doug, I understand you're going to be going on a canoe trip, and you're looking for different types of, uh, looking at different, the pros and cons of different boats and the layups of the hulls. And, um, I've had a little bit of experience working with a variety of boats, but first you need to kind of determine whether you're going to be paddling primarily flat water or moving water, or, or um, you know, those are the two considerations, really. If you're going to be paddling moving water, one of the best all around, or the best, um, most resilient boats uh, is made out of Royal X, which is an ABS foam, uh, vinyl, foam, vinyl, several different layers, and uh, it's just bomb proof. You can bounce it off rocks and drop it, and it's real abrasive resistant. Uh, the drawback is, is that it's real heavy. It's fairly, uh, it's just probably 30% heavier than a lot of the other materials. So that would be, uh, that would be something to consider. Uh, if you're going to be paddling, you know, doing tripping or on big open water, um, the two that are that are most common are fiberglass and Kevlar. Um, in in a lot of the outfitting situations that you see nowadays, um, if you're going to buy a boat, the the drawback is that Kevlar costs about three times as much as, as fiberglass. Um, it's what they make bulletproof helmets out of. It's really bomber um, as far as its tensile strength. It's um, and it's, it's real light. Um, but a drawback is that it is uh, also a little more difficult to repair if you do get it punctured, if a big wind blows it off your shoulders and it hits a rock and you've got to patch it. Uh, fiberglass, very similar characteristics as far as the layout of the hull. You can form it in real nice angles and um, layups that are sharp, um, making it more or less uh, resistant in water. And um, it's a touch heavier than, than uh, Kevlar, and that, I guess, is probably the only drawback. It's a lot less expensive. Uh, then you can go into more uh, traditional type sorts of canoes, wood canvas, which is uh, um, what a lot of the boats were made of around the turn of the century, and it's a, a skin, essentially. The canvas is a skin stretched around uh, um, internal sorts of braces that run the whole uh, length of the boat. Beautiful aesthetics, and it paddles nice. They weigh about uh, 110 pounds wet and 80 pounds dry, so it absorbs a little water, one of the considerations. And they're spendy too. Uh, but the all-around boat of uh, all-purpose and the most probably utilitarian uh, is, is the aluminum boat. And uh, the Grumman 17 standard is probably, there's probably been more of those made than any other canoe out there and don't have to store it indoors, you can store it on the top of the garage or wherever the heck you want, uh, you can beat it up. And they're, they're actually real useful in a lot of different types of water, uh, whether it be open water or, or moving water. Um, they, they have a tendency to stick on rocks, so they'll stick and maybe even tear a little bit, but you can pound them out with a rock and put some duct tape and shoe glue on them and away you go. So those are the, those are the types of boats that uh, you have to choose from. It's just how much you want to spend and uh, what type of, of water you're going to be paddling primarily is the, the two main considerations.